Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the smallest and one of the best priced Class Bs in America. This one sleeps four people. This is a 2022 Thor Sequence Model 20A. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Thor Sequence and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome, small, compact B-Van. Since we're back with Gen RV, this is our very first B-Van. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Becky. Hi guys. Hey, Becky, you're back on the show. I'm back. Thanks for having me back. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back to you, too. I am so excited that you're back. I know our team's excited. And today, we're going to check out this 22 Thor sequence that we have left over. And because I'm back, we're going to bring the best price in America. I love it, Becky. We have all Becky's contact info down below. And Becky, I believe this is the last 2022 B-Van. This is the last 22 Thor sequence, 28. Perfect. I love it, Becky. Let's begin. Do you remember how to do this? No. Come on down. We'll yeah. walk you through it. <laughs> so model is the Thor sequence. Actually, I forgot how to do this because you're oh. normally on camera. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> Becky, model is Thor sequence 20A. What's the actual tip to tip length? So this is 21 feet. Okay. This is built on the Ram Promaster 3500 chassis yes this is the 3.6 liter pentastar engine yes um and it is the new updated 2022 version which has that push start in the nice screen correct. and something that i do like is when i was backing this baby up you had a nice clear led screen with the little track to tell you where you were going yes it actually comes in handy while driving for sure yes so tell us what you like about the rams so I like the Ram because you sit really close and you have a really good view out your windshield. It feels literally like driving a regular vehicle. Yes. It, it's just compact, it's comfortable, it's really easy to drive. Most of every customer I put in this has had no problems at all. Yeah, and for those of you who are new to the show, Becky is a Class B specialist. We call her Becky B. Right up here it says Ram. We have the... Uh, plastic paneling here the sequence is more economical when it comes to thor right Correct. so tell us a little bit about thor class b's what what's the hierarchy so they make they make a, an 18 foot they make this 21 foot and then they also go they built on the mercedes diesel as well the 19 foot chassis they're also building on the ford transit so they have a whole line of different chassis so if the ram's not for you they build on all the other ones as well. I love it. Thor's motto is made to fit. So they make a segment made to fit anybody's wants and needs and price points. Price point. yes. Look at these tires, Becky. They're the Rodians. I love those. LT225-75 R16. Right here. What do we got going on with that mirror? All right. So on the mirror, um, you do have the blind spot monitoring oh, in the mirror, which okay. is really nice to have in a bigger vehicle like this. Um, you see a little light here and you've got the window that opens it i don't think it actually goes all the way down it so doesn't no. i was gonna make that one of my dislikes uh, oh, i mean sorry. you you, you, you caught us too early sorry. but when i was driving this i was like why doesn't it go all the way down do you know why i don't know why neither do i i don't know right I'm here we got sure. cup holders and then here's a little place for the map and then just because i always forget and becky Andrea gets on me. You okay. always have to remember to remind me of the cargo carrying capacity. Okay, I will but try. Yes. It is 1527. Which is that's a big amount for a little vehicle having 1500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity is a lot. Yes. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so in the front here you can see that you have a cab. I'm going to get actually in the seat so you can see the cab seat itself. And it's Becky really is 510. I'm 5'10. Okay. So you can see I have plenty of space and height here. Um I'm I mean I'm Plenty of room and I'm very spacious here. Um, over there. Thank you. So by the way, that's a new 2023 uh, Thor sequence 20A. If yeah, you guys, yeah. hey Becky. Huh. So if somebody's watching this 
and they wanted this one but it's sold we can always help them with the 23 absolutely just like that yes so continue okay. all right so uh, a big question I always get about these seats are do they turn around and yes they well, do. Becky yes. wait wait do they turn around they turn around okay okay so it's it's pretty easy. I don't know, you want me to turn them around now, I guess? Yes. Um, all right, so there's a few different latches. This one itself is this little, if you look right here, there's a little lever. Okay. It's yellow on this one. If you pull that up, and I like to, when I'm sitting in the seat, it's easiest to turn around. So you can use your body weight, your you know momentum of moving it. Um, you can see it's sticky, right? But you gotta kind of move and oh. pass this B pillar. Okay. As you're going around. And then, boom. And now you're in. Bada bing, bada boom. So this one Becky B too. knows what to do. How you doing? <laughs> and then that one turns around as well? Yeah, it turns around as well. And then obviously so you have a little table. So you can all, you know, have four people sitting here eating, playing cards, and all be comfortable. I love it. Yeah. Right here, Becky, we do have a nice sliding door. We do. And then tell us about this screen. So it's a nice screen, keep all your bugs out. And it goes all the way across. Um, every window that opens in here does have a screen. Yeah. Uh, the back doors, you would have to get something aftermarket. Yeah. I don't think there's a screen back there. Perfect. So. Right there is the Thule nice power awning with LED lights. Yes. And then coming on down here, is that a propane quick connect? That is, which is really handy. So it's run off of your built-in propane. So there's a built-in propane tank. You have to go to a fill station. It's not like a regular barbecue grill. You exchange it. And that propane is obviously going to run your camping grill. So Becky, does this unit have a generator? This unit actually has two generators. This comes with an underhood generator. Okay. Which means that every time you're driving this vehicle, it's gonna be providing power back to your house battery. Your house battery is gonna run your lights, maybe a charger, simple stuff, fantastic fan. Right. Anything 12 volt inside here, okay? Now, it also does have this specific 22 one. It has an Onan 2800 gen that's gonna run off of your fuel tank. That will power everything inside this coach. Wow. But now for 2023, yeah. everything, there's no option for a generator. It's standard with lithium batteries. Okay. And you can option in a bigger uh, 800 amp hour. It comes with 200, you can option in 800 if you choose. Wow, so it sounds to me like if somebody does like the generator, they better hop on this. And if you yes. don't like the generator, not a problem, no need to speed, no need, no need to call Becky right away because all the 2023s are coming with lithium. Correct. Love that. And then coming around the back, Becky, if you don't mind holding this. Sure. It, it does come with the bike rack. You guys wanna know why Becky's here. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Class Bs. America knows that. My very first Class B back with General RV, I smashed myself in the back of the head and I have a knot right here already. So, you must watch yourself when you close this door to make sure, how I think. Just did it I'm again. Just trying to demonstrate, but uh, I'm yep. trying to demonstrate, but that, even the demonstration hurts because there's this thing right here. Oh no, it was this. And that sucker will hit you hard in the back of that. So just always be careful about that. And then when these doors open, you do have some cargo nets here. And then what the heck is this right there? So that is, it comes with a Thule ladder. It's a collapsible ladder. Oh, uh, it's right there. Yep. And so this is, no, that's the ladder that goes to the. Oh, the okay. But this, there's a collapsible ladder. It might be up in the front. And this is a magnetic piece. Once you put it on, I can show you later, but, and then you can magnetic it anywhere on the side, and then you can get up to the top, check oh. your solar, check your air, so you're not stuck climbing up just the back door. Right. Right. I yes. like that. I love this. Perfect. Right there, we do have the backup camera, AC unit, and to save a little bit of time, we're going to say this is what's going on up on the roof. And Becky, you said there's some solar panels up there? Yeah, so there is solar up on the roof. You obviously see your air conditioner. There's a fantastic fan. Uh, this does not have the, well, it's got the Thule awning, I already said, and it comes with the wine guard. Digital antenna. Correct. I love it. Yes. Please, uh, well, we can keep the doors open. What okay. else do we got going on back here? So back here, well, you're, you see, I have an exterior spray port. So this will go off of your fresh water, and then you can spray off your dirty shoes, your dogs, your kids, your husband. Back here, you have your water pump switch, another light switch, plugs, um, back here is storage. This is a pretty decent storage okay. for a van. I like it because it opens to the back. Yes. So all your outside stuff. 
that's really about it for back here. Well, well not only that, it looks like it, yeah, it connects so you can get it from the inside as well. Correct. Very cool. All right, we can leave this open okay. for more natural light. Oh, Let's... hitch too, 3,500 pound tow hitch. Okay. I wouldn't tow 3,500 I wouldn't tow, yeah. Well, tow? What... I have people that tow all the time. I it's wouldn't tow a it. vehicle personally. No, not a vehicle. A lot of people are towing like a little six by 12 cargo trailer. A motorcycle. Yeah, something yes. real small. Absolutely. What do we got going on here? All right, so this is gonna be your portable. Portable. Water. Yes, potable, potable, <laughs> potable water tank right yes. there. It's nice that it comes with a lock because it is your fresh tank. Correct. And then right there is the exhaust for that the generator. Generator, correct. Nice back here, and it's not on your campsite. Okay. Okay. Uh, your city water fill there. Yes. This is going to be your cassette toilet. Demonstrate. Okay, it can be a demonstration. Obviously, you see it's very easy. A little latch there, pull it out. It's got a handle and wheels. Just lock it in. There you go. That's it. You can no. take it to the movies. <laughs> well, you know. I'm not going to the movies. I'm right. This. All right. Now, when you get to the restroom, you just open that, take the cap off, dump it. I personally would suggest taking like a bottle of water with you. Yeah. Dump that in there, put the cap back on, swish it around, and then you're good to go. Love it. Clean up. So nice, easy, um, and just you know, dump anywhere. So there you go. Easier for campers. A light, so if you're at nighttime and you need to see out here, yep. because this is where you're going to be doing your hookups and stuff. Uh, this is your Truma system, so that's going to run your hot water and your furnace. Yep. Uh, here you have a cable, your cable TV, your 30 amp power, and this is going to be for your propane fill. And if, for everybody who's watching on TV, Becky, and they want to see the specs. Bing! Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Those are the specs right there. Okay. Uh, gas, fuel, tank, okay. fill. Um, and then driver's door. Storage, cup holder. You know, pretty basic. Perfect. Well, Becky, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I don't skip. So just walk all the way in, down and around. Oh, I got it. Hang oh. on. We're gonna show this all first, and then we're gonna start in the cockpit area, Becky. Okay. But before we start in the cockpit area, we gotta give a big shout out to RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Okay. Looking so, good, Becky. Yeah, it's, it's nice, it's open, it's spacious. I mean, 5'10", obviously you see a plenty of leg room. I like it, you sit up high, it's a good view, short cab in the front easy to park. So tell us what okay. we got going on up here. So up here, you can see, obviously you have all of your controls, big, I love the big screen. Yes. This is nice. Now this is new 22 and above. Yep. Um, you've got adaptive cruise, lights, parking brake, emergency start. What's case, emergency start for? In case your batteries are dead, you hit the button and it'll give you a boost to start your engine. Yes, so if your chassis batteries are dead, it can take the house batteries and charge it. Right, which is really nice. Right there is where you pop your hood. Correct. And then uh, here? So mirrors, uh, windows, power, locks. And are these, are these so the mirrors fold? 
you know, I don't honestly know. Let's get this baby started I up. I got I've never seen that. I don't know. All right. Oh, <laughs> very cool. I've never seen that button before. I guess I've never paid attention to it. The more either. you know. <laughs> the more you know. Learn every day. Okay, now that all we're right. on. So, okay, up here you can see it's all digital. Yes. It's really easy to read and see. Uh, you do have the tow haul button in case you do decide to tow. Uh, right, this is nice and easy. Yes. Okay. Keep going. All right, so over here, I it's very easy. It's just touch screen. It's very, let's see, I'm sorry, easy to use. You can sync your phone to it. Nice. Do all of your stuff that you would have in just your regular driving vehicle. Now, I like this is new too. This is a charging for your phone. Wow. I don't know if it charges with your... No. It doesn't. It doesn't do it with the case. Phone. Yeah. Um, obviously your heat and all that, air. Perfect. Uh, and we got cup holders there. Cup holders, USB charging ports. Very see, nice. I like this right here because I can put my phone there. I like that little spot. Nice. Yes. Uh, seats do have adjustments and I like that this this has an armrest that you can kind of, you can lock it in place if you even wanted to lock it right there. Love so, it. So, like that. You can, it does have um, the lumbar support, uh, the cranks, that's how you get those to adjust, move your seat back. I think that's about it with the seats. Perfect. And then right here oh, is a little bit of storage, storage and that's your uh, privacy curtain. No mirrors. Kind of a There's a mirror right there. Oh, no mirrors in there. Yeah, you know. Ramp, ramp. ramp. And then right here, we do have a little bit more storage up here as well. Mm -hmm. Becky, is this a pop top? This is a pop top. So this will be interesting to get up. All right, so the pop top is pretty easy to put up. You have two clips, one here, one here. Just unclip it. There's a lock. Okay. I've already unlocked it with a key. And then you literally just push. Oh man, popping tops. There you go. Hey, we have a spider friend in here. We don't charge extra for those. No? No. You can find him. Okay, so the ladder, I can put the ladder if you wanna go. Are we going up there? Where do you wanna go? Becky, are we going up there? I mean, I'd like to you to climb up there. I'll, I can climb up there. I can climb up there. It's what we do. It gets warm up there, but. Okay. So the ladder is locks as well on here so please 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 make sure that you guys lock this before you have your kids going up here very very safe so right here if you see twist oh. that and twist that and nice. it's locked and then you make sure that this is locked here too okay now you can go up there you go thank you ma'am okay <laughs> oh boy here we go now well, I guess we get to test the weight rating on the ladder. What's that supposed to mean, Becky? I love it. <laughs> okay, and then up here, you can see, actually, you know what, Becky? I'm going all the way up. Okay. You know why? Do it. America, that's why. Well, you know, it actually, you'll oh, see. Sorry. I'm sorry. You'll see, van life. Dang it. How spacious it is up there. Seriously, right? Look at how much room you have. Okay. You can't complain about that. I, I I could complain, you know, but for a class B on the Ram Pro Master, it gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? You got these side windows here, this, all these extras to make it more comfortable. This is nice too. It's the skylight, and if yeah. you move that, it will open all the way up so you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. oh. Look at that. Oh. And it opens. Hey, there's your anus. And Saturn. <laughs> and Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We're leaving that in there. Oh boy. Okay. Right, right over here, we do have lights. And and USB and port. USB port. This light moves up. You see how it, like, you okay. can kind of position it where you want. Yeah. There's two, uh, more USB ports right here. Okay. Um. And yeah. Oh, and another light. Perfect. And USB on the other side. Very comfortable. I mean, I could definitely make do with this. See? So. I'm glad you climbed up there. Yes. All right. Now All right. I'm climbing on down. Okay. I'm going to go back here. Everybody watch yourselves. Here we go. Careful. I got it. I got it. You're supposed to go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Use. This, okay. This is not how you go down the ladder. Correct. And that's America, what don't do it. What Mar what that's Mar what I want to demonstrate. <laughs> Use as directed, okay? Not that way. And yes, not as demonstrated. Do not use as demonstrated. Use as directed per the manufacturer. 
Oh boy. And then when you're done, you just do the little twisty do. Mm-hmm. Untwist. Do si do. And then it's Perfect. easiest. I find it easiest to fold it back up outside, because otherwise you. Yes. Yep. Very nice. Okay. And then we're just gonna place this on the bed over here. All right. And then one thing I want to touch on, right here you got the TV. Okay, it does swing out. The reason why it swings for when you're sitting over here, have a nice little social area. Or tailgating while you're Not, sitting outside. Absolutely. Nice uh, Euro style cabinetry here. I love the overdone hinges and the Euro inspiration. Right over here, Becky, we do have two seats with seat belts. That's very important. And again, this is a nice desk area that comes out. And you know, you can be sitting here working, playing cards. And then right here, you do have these windows. And I love the screen here. Very, very nice. And then Becky, do you like these valances or do you not like these valances? I, I think that they're fine. They blend in and they, they tie in all the colors. We need an approval, bing, or a denial. I'm approval, bing. Oh, Becky, you're back. I, we didn't even tell anybody. Oh. Becky, I didn't even tell you. I found a pack of your stickers. So if somebody gets an RV from you and they email you and they'll have your info, you'll mail them a sticker now. I will mail them a sticker. We have, um, I, do you remember how many are in a pack? Is it 50 or 100 or something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. We got the pack. <laughs> the pack is back. The oh Becky boy. sticker's back. And that's the Becky seal of approval. Oh boy. Well, Becky, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Okay, MSRP on this well, is... No, you're supposed to go... Burr, 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 burr. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh. Burr, 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 burr. Yes, <laughs> Becky, what is the MSRP of this motorhome? 148603 $148,603. Becky, that is MSRP. But I didn't come back to General RV for MSRP. And you're not back in the videos to sell it at an okay sale price. Becky, what is the best price in America on this motorhome? $99,995. $99,995, which is a $47,000 discount or $48,000 discount. That's like 31 or 32% off. On a B-Van, which is not heard of. Well, Becky, it's the last 2022. It has to go. It has to go. Becky, if somebody wants to get this motorhome, we have one, you can always go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. But if you guys want to buy this motorhome from Becky, we have a specific link down below that takes you to Becky's Cash. I don't know the exact URL. It's probably generalrv.com backslash Becky's dash cash but the best thing to do okay. is on this video in the description it is the very first link click that link that goes directly to becky and becky what are you going to get everybody the best price in america show us this kitchen okay I'm glad to have you back friend i'm so excited to okay you. before you show us the kitchen oh. i missed that oh. and i missed the storage underneath so yeah one little storage drawer which is really nice you yep. need to have shoes little stuff cards games okay kitchen oh. and oh. i missed that oh sorry so okay. under here, this is not going to be used for storage, but this is nice because you have easy access to all of your water lines. Yep. And, all, then, and all the water lines are inside the van. So that means that you can use this for season as long as you keep... Four seasons with an asterisk. Four seasons with the yes. As long as you keep the inside of this coach warm, Yep. you can camp in cold weather. Perfect. Okay. Also, I forgot the power and USB there as well. Becky, I'm slacking, but you're doing a great job. Please continue. <laughs> okay. I love... The kitchen on the campsite. You have kids. You're not. You're. You want to look out your campsite. They make kitchens on this side. When you have kids, you want to be looking out here. So nice and spacious. Look how big the counter is. Which in a van. Yes. It. It's van big. This, the, well, this is big. Yeah. It's big, big. All right. So sink, cutting board, nice big faucet. I love the hot top with the. That's a tower, power, power. Tower, power, tower? Power, tower. Power, yes, ma'am. Okay, two burner propane with a nice glass so you can still use this as kitchen prep space. It does have three drawers. Love it. And your refrigerator. Yes. With a little freezer. Very nice. Okay. Then right over here. Oh, yep. Yeah. One more cabinet and a microwave, convection microwave. Uh, window, 
Yes. To look out. All windows do have blackouts, so you can completely be stealth in here. Nobody needs to see your business. Okay. A little cabinet with a little wardrobe for hanging clothes. Okay. And another little cabinet down here. Perfect. Bathroom. And then more power right there. Okay. Yes, what do we got going on in here? So, bathroom. In the bathroom, you have a medicine cabinet that okay. does open for storage. Nice lighting. Two light strips in here. A pull-down sink. I personally would just use this as like my vanity. I don't think I'd use this as a sink. Your kitchen sink's so close. You're right there. Yeah, yes. Right there. Uh, nice uh, cover for your toilet paper. Obviously your, your toilet and a shower. Perfect. Do you mind? Go ahead. This is... Got to test it out. So first and foremost, there is a door here for the shower. How do you feel in there? Great. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> it's a B-van. It's a B-van, you know? Okay. Then right over here, Becky, we're sitting here. You can adjust the toilet seat, which I like. It is a plastic toilet seat. And unfortunately, Becky, this, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. But Becky, it's van life. It's 21 feet. You know, you might not be able to poop comfortably, but you're pooping at Yellowstone uncomfortably. You're pooping at you're pooping at Wildwood. You're pooping at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Where everywhere else, yeah, you might have a better bathroom, but you gotta park outside the National Park and, and you gotta drive in. So it is what it is. There's pros and cons. Continue on, Becky. It's pros and cons, yes. Okay, so back here we have four cabinets open wow. for more storage. USBs and this one on the front. Okay, uh, speakers. So your radio back here, you can do this as two twin beds. Okay. But just like this, leave your beds made. You never have to make and unmake your bed. Or you can pull this all the way over. I was gonna say if I'm gonna shut the door, but pull this all the way over. You take this cushion, put it in the middle, and now this whole area makes it to a big bed. Bada bing, bada boom. So you can leave it made. I now here. So this is gonna be your storage for your kayaks yeah your bikes, per your personally i i'd have it single you know what i'm saying right like you're just more more comfortable that way it's, you know well in the middle of the night it's a lot easier to get out and use your restroom yep leaving it as two twin beds yep okay. and then what storage do we got all right so storage jack here well we already opened that cabinet yep um this is gonna be where your uh inverter your your um power control and everything thank you Luke. yes ma'am Okay. Hey, it's simple work, but it's honest work. I've also worked a show and I'm like tired. Yes. Okay, so more storage drawers and more storage compartments back here. Two more. Yeah, Not by bad. the way, if you, got, storage. if you guys go to an RV show and General's RV's there and they have vans, you know Becky's going to be there. Come by, say hi, make sure you buy a van from Becky. What else do we got going on? Nice air conditioner. Okay. So this is really nice because it's right in your area where you want to be cool. Yes. You want to be hot when you're sleeping. Yes. So, okay, that's about it. Windows, oh, lights, a couple lights, reading lights. Nice, nice. Well, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we like about this van, three things we don't like about it. Becky, what do we do first? Three things we like. First? Yeah, I think they. Go ahead. Okay. I like that this is a van that sleeps for. Talk to me. So a lot of my vans are are two people. Uh huh. So having a van that sleeps for now we're I'm mean, opening the market for more buyers yeah. with children, and that these vans now become you take it to the beach your kids. Um, Soccer games. Right. So it just becomes more of a daily driving vehicle. Yep. And you have a place to take a shower and keep sandwiches and drinks cold and use the potty. So these are becoming more and more popular, but they don't have always the option of sleeping floor. I love this it. It does. Becky, that's number one. Number okay. two, I'm going to kind of combo with you. So first, I'm going to talk about the chassis. I love the upgraded features. Ram has always been the cheapest chassis, but they're really stepping it up with a lot of their technologies, mm -hmm. adaptive cruise control. But talking on the, touching on the features of sleeping for Becky, this can safely travel for with seat, right with seat belts. Right. You know what I'm saying? So with what they did with the chassis, the safety features and the safety seating, that's a feature that I truly do love about this motorhome. That's number two. And then Becky, what's the third thing you love about it? Third thing I love about it. I love the floor plan. Yeah. It, you sit four up here, sleep two in twins. 
Plus, you have all the cargo space for all your adventure gear. Yeah. It's just a floor plan. It just works really well. Becky, I love it. I love it. And again, to get all this and 21 feet, perfect for state and national parks, perfect for parking lots, perfect for for baseball fields, perfect for anything. Right. Wherever wherever the road takes you. Correct. That's three things we love about it, Becky. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Womp, 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 womp. Becky, okay. if you don't right. mind, I'd like to go first. All right. Number one for us is gonna be these windows right here. Mm. I don't understand why they don't go all the way down. There must be a practical reason. Unfortunately, we don't have Thor here and we don't have Ram here to tell us the practical reason. So the fact that it doesn't go all the way down, Becky, that is my dislike number one. Okay. What's dislike number two? Uh, bathroom size. Talk to me. I, I mean, it, it, it's not usable really for like a shower. Right. You do have the outdoor shower. Yep. And you can make an outdoor shower changing area yep. back there. There's different aftermarket ideas, which are great. This, it's just a little small. Could I use the potty in here? Absolutely. Yeah. But would I shower in here? No. Perfect. No. And you know what? That That's the best part. And I think it's great for those emergency situations right. or tight situations right. where right. it's like you smell real bad and you got to take a shower. But most of the time you're using the bathhouse. You know, right. what, what Bruce always says is you're living in an RV, you're living out of a van. You yes. know what I'm saying? It is very true. You live so outside. that's number two. And then right. Becky. Follow me. All right. Number three for me is going to be this cock duty freaking bike rack here. <laughs> now, again, I like the bike rack, but I swear to you, my first yeah. class B back, and I hit the back of my head, and there's definitely a little knot back there. And then to top it off, the piece that hit me is like sticking out, and you just always got to be careful with closing this back door when it comes to bikes. Well, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. How did it feel? Uh, it feels great. A little nervous, so bear with me. But yes, I'm so excited you're back, man. Really am. Well, we're excited you're back too. And again, if you guys are interested in this 22, in any Class B or truthfully any motorhome, go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down below. You can call 844 nine six nine four zero three three that's the number to the internet department which becky is a part of or if you want to work with becky directly we have a special link down for her because she's here helping me guys becky stayed an extra day to help me with these b vans because she knows i'm not a huge fan and we love having her a part of the show becky what do you want to say to america thank you guys so much for watching appreciate all the support Hopefully we'll see you soon. Great. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Becky, we'll see you next, next time. time.